Okay guys, to be honest here, I have seen some shit. I mean, I really have seen some shit in my day. People who think they can change their gender, change their age, change their species, and now finally change their race. What a time to be alive. I know many of you have already heard of some of these people before, but um, you never heard it from my perspective. They identify as races that they aren't. It's called transracial, and we're taking a look at this problem first hand. What's up guys, it's Nerku, AKA The Problem Solver, back at it again with yet another problem. I mean, these people are getting out of control. Can someone please explain to me how someone can just magically change their race? Listen, bro, I know race is a controversial topic, and many of us even struggle with the idea that saying that race is even a thing that actually exists to begin with, and I can understand that. I can understand both sides of that argument. Let's be frank here. Everyone under the sound of my voice that is actively using the internet, watching this video, and engaging is a person and is a human and belongs to what is known as the human race. But that's not the problem here. When I mention race, I'm specifically mentioning the nationality, ethnicity, culture of a person. Better yet, why not look up the definition of race to better illustrate my point? Race, each of the major divisions of humankind having distinct physical characteristics, people of all races, colors, and creeds, for example. Or we can look at another definition that says, a group of people sharing the same culture, history, language, etc., in an ethnic group. So if you guys can see where I'm getting at, that's what I mean by race when I say race in this video. So if we can all agree that race is indeed a thing, which is on paper, we can see what the problem is here. You see, race is dependent on one thing. If you guys have a brain with at least one cell in it, you can understand what that one thing is. It's a little thing that we like to call biology. It's something that you're born into. That's why being racist isn't a good thing because you're inherently discriminating against someone for things that they can't control or change or help. Enter the transracial person. This little display of the latest and weird is the exact reason why we need to be careful in what we promote as okay and what's acceptable. We told people it was brave and okay to change their sex. We told them that it was acceptable to change their age. We told them that it was okay to identify as non-human or even inanimate objects or even babies. And now we have reached a whole new level. Transracial. So if we go to Urban Dictionary, there's a couple of definitions for transracial simply because transracial is not really a common thing. So let's go ahead and take a look. When a person who is born of one race makes a decision to become or represent themselves as another race. This is often done by persons who are mixed or biracial and hence can pass for multiple races. In extreme circumstances, a person will change their own outward appearance through tanning, etc. to appear to be one race over the other. A person who thinks they can change their family tree by pretending to be another race. I'm transracial, so I'm black. I can't, I can use black slurs and actual black people cannot tell me that I am racist and call me white. You have to respect how I identify because it's totally just as justified as being transgender, even though transgender people hate calling ourselves transracial. See, there is even conflict between these trans societies, can I call them that, or trans communities, transgender, transracial, it's completely messed up. You see, and if you look at the date on some of these definitions, this is nothing new here. Trans people are blurring the lines of social constructs of race and advancing mankind or not. Transracial people are moving beyond what is known as cultural appropriation and moving straight into the territory of offensive and even insensitive. And what I mean by cultural appropriation, if you guys don't know what that is, I think it's complete BS. I don't think it's actually something that exists. That's when you like some things that some other cultures do or like something about their culture. So you appropriate it by taking it on to make it your own, like such as hip hop culture. There's, they say that white people appropriate black culture when they rap. So basically what they're saying is like a guy like Eminem or even Little Dicky or even even, um, even some people who aren't white, like let's look at um, Rich Chiga or look at any other person who's non-black and saying just because they rap that they are appropriating on black culture. It's crazy. That's why I don't necessarily believe in it. I think that cultural appropriation is a myth made up by the left, made up by these SJWs in order to garner attention or make the minority seem like they have something that's being once again taken away from by the majority or white people in this instance. So all things aside about cultural appropriation, that's BS. It's not the same as these transracial people. The reason why I have a problem with transracial people and not 
cultural appropriation is simply because they're moving beyond, like I said, the territory of uh, cultural appropriation and moving straight into offensive and insensitive. Saying that you are this race of people or acting like you are this race of people is playing off of stereotypes, playing off of things that don't really exist or, you know, claiming something that you're not. And that is the problem here. So what I'm talking about here is we have an example. This man here has something to say about being transracial. He believes he's Filipino, but in actuality, he's a white man who is a Panoi version of a weeaboo. So a Panoi weeaboo, a Panoiaboo, or whatever you wanna call it. And I can say that because my wife is Filipino and she's just as weirded out about this as much as I am. So let's take a look into why this guy thinks he can change his race. Now that's something you don't hear every day. All right, let's do it. There's a video here on nydailynews.com. What the fuck? I was driving, driving around. Okay, so um, judging by some things that my wife has told me about the Philippines, that is called a tricycle. And why the heck is it pink? Like that really worries me, my dude. Yeah, why? Why is it pink? Uh, they, yeah, they use them a lot in the Philippines. Whenever, tuck, tuck. you know, I'm around, whenever I'm around the music, I'm around the food, I feel like I'm in my own skin. I'd watch the History Channel sometimes for hours, you know, whenever, whenever. So basically what you're saying is watching the History Channel qualifies you as being Filipino. Knowing about the culture qualifies you as being Filipino. Just because you like the music and the food, you feel comfortable in your own skin. I don't understand that doesn't make you Filipino. That means that you just like Filipino things. And trust me, my guy, I love Filipino things. I married a Filipina. I love Filipino things. I came to that and you know, nothing else intrigued me more, but you know, things about, you know, Filipino culture. I think if you're unhappy with who you are and you change yourself for the better and that makes you happy, you know, go for it. But so if you're unhappy with what you are and you change yourself for the better, I don't understand. Are you saying one race is better than the other? Is that what you're saying right now? Also, you can't change your race. Like I've, I just spent time talking about this. You cannot change your race. Sure, you can change how you look, but that doesn't mean that you change your race. Race is in your biology. It's in your DNA. It's in your culture. You are raised into it. For example, you can be American as f and, and be Filipino. But the thing is, that's your biology. Filipino is your biology, but you can be American in culture. What are you What are you talking about, my guy? What are you talking about, dude? But it's I, I would never say it was a privilege to, you know, be unhappy with yourself all the time. A privilege to be unhappy, dude. No, no, no. I, see, I, I am one of the few people out there who is mixed race, and I don't believe in any type of privilege for white people. There's no such thing. That's that That's non-existent. But I have something to say about you, dude. I have something to definitely say about you. What the heck is up with the way you look? You look more than just transracial, my guy. You look transgender at it, too. What the heck is going on with that hair? Why you got titties, my boy? That's all. I, I'm just I'm just a little concerned about you, man. Just a little concerned. With yourself all the time. Well, the funny thing is, is, you know, I had to, you know, I had to make sure that it wasn't just me. Because if it's just me, then there must be something wrong. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just strange. Yeah, that's the one thing that you've said that's been true this entire time is that if it's just you, then you're concerned. Dude, it's, it is it is just you. Well, it's not just you, but we have a problem here. There is something wrong. There is something wrong. You can't change your race, my guy. You can't change your race. And, and, and whatever happened to people saying that race doesn't define you? Wasn't it the left who said this? Wasn't it like people saying... We need to be judged by the like the content of our character, not the color of our skin. Isn't pretty much race, race like just skin deep at the end of the day? So it's like I don't understand why you want to identify as a different skin color, or maybe you like a different culture, so you want to be kind of a part of it. But I don't, I don't understand. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I have more questions. I'm really concerned for you, my guy. You know, I created the group in hopes of you know getting our message out in a bottle and people started to join people started to message me about you know their conflictions with themselves My wait 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 these could just be people who are confused about who they are as people people who don't necessarily know what they want in life and here you are taking advantage of them by leading by making this group and having you now you, you're put a, a we need to get a psychologist in here and i know that typically i don't i'm not one that speak for psychology but we need to get a psychologist in here this, this dude is crazy man and he's rubbing his crazy off on other people. Family knows about my 
understand sexuality, but they don't know. Oh, oh, so you are transsexual. That makes more sense now. About this. It's just my mom is kind of an older world person. And I just think that something telling her something like that is just too wild. I believe that we. Here, here's here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think that this person is transgender, and um, I think he has a, a gender dysphoria issue and is attracted to Filipino women and wants to be a Filipino woman. So as a result, he thinks because Filipino women are you know sexy and hot and amazing that he just wants to embody that. Just like a lot of people like kind of want to embody Beyonce. It's the same thing. We all have the freedoms to pursue happiness in our own ways. We can pursue, we can pursue, pursue, pursue in, intimacy with whatever partner we want. Okay, so he had some truth right at the end there. You you have the the right to pursue happiness in your own way. One hundred percent, I agree with that. You also said that you have the right to pursue intimacy with whatever partner you want. Once again, I agree with that. But that person has to be consenting and has to accept you and all this other stuff. Blah 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 blah. I'm not going to touch on that. However, I feel like this is going to become the next trans issue. Just like how we're being forced to eat trans soup for transgender people, now we're going to be forced to eat trans soup for transracial people pretty soon here. And and mark my words, guys, you don't think that this is possible but it is very very possible if he keeps on crying wolf keeps on saying he's being mistreated keeps on saying that his community is being underrepresented he keeps on saying these things then it's gonna eventually happen so here's what i'm gonna do guys i don't know about y'all but here's what i'm gonna do about i'm transracial guys i'm white now yep i said it i'm white so bow down bitches. like i don't know what else to tell you i'm white now um, hopefully that means, you know, that I get all this, um, this culturally appropriatedness out of my head. And then, you know, I get this privilege that, you know, you guys say that exists. So, you know, can I get some of that now? Can I get like a small loan of a million dollars? Can I like, you know, help out myself to, you know, that money? Can I get a bank loan? Like my guy, can I, can I, can I like, can I get a mortgage now? My guy, can I get a higher credit score now? My guy, you know, I'm white now. So I, I identify as white. So therefore I am right. That's how this works. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for me. I don't got nothing else to say about this without this stuff becoming cancerous, hateful, or whatever. I just need to kind of keep my mouth shut for the time being. Remember that you cannot change your race. You can admire things about other races, other cultures, other nations and nationalities, and other people, but just keep it simple and keep it to that only. Don't pass the territory of weird and obsession and become a weeaboo. Don't become a transracial weirdo. Please, for the sake of all things, do not become a weeaboo. If you like today's video, go ahead and ever so gently tongue punch that like button. If you hate today's video or hate me for actually being biracial or mixed race, then, you know, that's a personal problem that you have and you're probably racist. So, um, I'd get that checked out if I were you. Anyways, if you're new here, please consider subscribing as I release toxic content all the time. Once again, my name is Neriku, aka The Problem Solver, and I will catch each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace.